Am I the a-hole for forcing my stepdaughter to cut her hair? How could you not be? All right, maybe there's a good reason. Let's find out. I, 31, met my husband, 34 male, eight years ago, and we've been married for six. He has an 11-year-old daughter from a previous relationship. I work from home, so I mainly end up taking care of her. I have since she was really young. We have a generally good relationship, and she stays at her mother's most weekends. She has incredibly long, blonde, wavy hair just past her bottom. It's an absolute nightmare to take care of. Oh no, I do not like where this is going. It frequently tangles and she always needs help brushing and styling it before school. I'm not a morning person and I do not like having to wake up early to do a kid's hair. It's expensive to maintain as she requires more products. And she insists on using hair oils, which can cost around $11 and only last a few weeks. She also insists that she has to use curly hair shampoo instead of regular shampoo and conditioner. What you mean regular? Hmm. Which is often over $10 a bottle. And she goes through it at a fast rate. She won't use a regular brush on it as she insists that it breaks her hair and hurts. So she uses a wide tooth comb, which takes a long time to brush when she could just be doing more productive things like homework or I don't know, helping me with the chores. I decided that she has become obsessed with her hair and I don't want her to become vain. So I decided that she needs to cut it. Oh, heck no. Isn't this the stepmother? Like it's not your decision to make. Dude, I need to stop cutting in, but I'm getting so mad. I don't see getting her hair cut as a big deal because I've always kept my hair at shoulder length and I get it cut frequently and my hair doesn't even grow that fast. It's a lot more practical. So I took her to the hairdressers as normal and in the car on the way down, she says that she wants to make sure that the hairdresser doesn't cut too much. But I politely explained that I would like her hair cut to shoulder length because it's become such a burden. At first, she thought I was joking, but when she realized, she started to cry. When we got to the salon, the hairdresser was reluctant to cut her hair due to the tears. But I explained the trouble we have maintaining it and assured that cutting it would be best for her. In the end, the stylist agreed and cut her hair. She put her hair in a very long braid and then cut it and gave my stepdaughter the braid to keep. Her hair was now just past shoulder length and looked a lot darker. The car journey home was silent. I offered her McDonald's, but she refused. She went straight to her room when we got back. My husband went up to see her when he got back home and apparently he found her on the bed sobbing, holding her old hair. My husband immediately called her mother to come and collect her. And as soon as my stepdaughter was out the door, he started yelling. Her mother also came in and gave me a mouthful. I explained my reasoning, but my husband wouldn't budge. He said that if I had an issue, he would have done her hair in the mornings and that he didn't mind paying for the products. He was so furious and he said that he no longer trusts me around his daughter and that he doesn't know if he can be with a woman who he doesn't trust. This broke my heart. I didn't mean her any harm. I was just so tired and I'm trying to reduce the stress. I've always been the one to raise her and her brother and I'm just exhausted. So am I the a-hole? Of course you're the a-hole. And I'm not trying to hear that I'm so exhausted BS at the end. No, if she was actually just tired and wanted to solve the problem, she would have talked to the parents about it first. This woman just took the decision into her own hands instead of consulting the parents first. Are you kidding me? The more I read this post, the more I started feeling like OP is honestly low-key jealous of the little girl's hair. Because for her to go behind the parents back and cut this poor baby girl's hair while she's crying, like there literally had to be an ulterior motive there. I know if somebody cut my daughter's hair without my permission, I would be fuming. If I was the husband, I would definitely be on the brink of divorce, like seriously. So OP wants to know if she's the a-hole in the story, guys. So who wants to tell her? <laughs> she is most definitely the a-hole to me and I gotta give her a 10 out of 10 rating. You don't get to make a decision for a kid behind their parents' back. I'm sorry, but I feel so bad for that poor little girl who didn't even get a say in her own haircut. And the dad said he didn't even mind paying for the products. Like, what was she thinking? Not only was she completely out of line for cutting that little girl's hair, but she disrespected her husband and that girl's mom for not consulting them first. That decision was not hers to make. And that's why I gotta give her a 10 out of 10. So you guys, let me know in the comments what rating you would give this OP. I just can't believe somebody would do this to a little girl who's sobbing and not even tell her parents. Ooh, I would be mad. 
Anyways, guys, I also wanted to show you one of my newer resin designs. So I've always loved pink, blue, and purple. Those are like three of my favorite colors to pair together. You guys probably already know that. But for this jar, I wanted to try something different because I have these pearls with the ombre effect of pink, blue, and lavender. And I love these pearls and I was really excited to use them for this jar. So I got those pearls and put them in crystal clear resin with silver glitter for the lid. And then I used the same three colors, pink, blue, and purple, but I made them really, really pastel. And I made the top half of the jar translucent, the bottom half gets a little bit more opaque. And it's kind of a random design. That's kind of how my brain is, it's just all over the place. So this is what I came up with. This one just gives me Disney princess vibes and it makes my inner child just so happy. <laughs> So here are the final results guys and I am obsessed with how these colors blended together. And I love how they match perfectly with the pearls. So guys, you have to let me know what you think about the final results. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay kind, stay amazing, and keep on resonating.